This is the drive home with TT for the Millwall drive home, driving home from Carrow Road, where it finished Norwich City 4, Millwall 3. Oh, Jesus. Oh, football. Millwall. They are gonna kill they are going to kill me. I'm, I know years are coming off my life because of this football club. Absolutely heartbreaking. You know, I wear my heart on my sleeve and that was a a, a hard, hard, hard one to take. We've come away from, from, from Carrow Road without a point. And I have no idea how that was the case. Well, I do have a few ideas, but emotionally, I have no idea. What did we want after Brentford? Well, we wanted a Millwall performance. We wanted a performance where every single player went out on that pitch determined to get a better result. And do you know what? They did. They, they worked their nuts off. I felt like we defended higher up than we normally do put pressure on them, we played the ball around quite nicely, we scored some very good goals and then we're undone again for two injury time goals, one in the 97th minute of somehow six minutes of injury time. We'll go through the starting lineup and I was a little bit surprised that we had, obviously, we had Amos in goal, Romeo, Romeo, uh, Romeo and Meredith out, out of the team, who I think are two of the West best wing-backs we have in the league. Um, but we had Conor McCoughlin making his return at right-back, centre-back pairing of Cooper and Hutchinson. Left-back was Murray, Murray Wallace. Left midfield was Shane Ferguson, Ryan Leonard, Sean Williams and Jed Wallace as the right midfield. And then up front, Elliot and Lee Gregory. You know, it's very difficult today to find a player that didn't play very well, didn't give everything. Some of them played better than others, but they 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 tried absolutely everything to, to, to pick up uh, the three points today. If we go through it, we can see that we can see the penalty. Well, we'll go through the, the, the start, the, the goal that we scored. First 20 minutes, we were up and at them. We were all over them, passing the ball around really well, putting the pressure on them in their their half, winning the ball back. Because Nor Norwich are what, what first or second in the division, and they, they didn't look it defensively. They were all over the shop. Across from Williams, great set piece headed back by the assist king, Jake Cooper, and Elliot gets his nut on it, one nil up. And at that stage, I think we were fully deserved to be one nil up. We then, after that goal, sat back a little bit deeper than we we had done previously. Norwich came on and showed their class. Uh, going forward, but we, they didn't really look like they, like getting getting in behind us, getting at us. We go one nil, so it's one nil at half time, and I, I felt over over the 45 minutes we deserved to be ahead. Half time came, ref came out second half with an agenda. In my opinion, I thought it was all right in the first half. Second half, he wasn't, and you know we've conceded really early on to a well-worked move down down the down their left side, our right side. The cut back equalises 1-1. And then they go on and get a second after. They thought, was it, I think the penalty was, was at 2-1 as well, which was a harsh penalty to be given against us. But they go 2-1 up and then straight away, literally their fans are turning around saying, who are you, who are you? I'm out, I'm up, shouting Millwall going mental at them because I'm disappointed and then we, we, get, an, we get an equaliser from Ryan Leonard poaching inside the box and it's 2-2. I was a little bit louder after that, I've got to be honest. We then, I have no idea why, but again we say, we were then on the ascendancy, we were, we were the, the forward team pushing on them who were top of the league and I think we deservedly Good bit of movement between um, Wallace and Morrison. Good one too. Morrison's, Morrison's clipped it through to Wallace who bangs it in. It's 3-2 with three minutes to go. Now, I know Mill can throw away a lead and obviously we did do. But, you know, our, our fans were going mental and we deserve to be in that position. You know, I, we 
Like, we played the ball around really well today. We didn't sit as deep as we normally did. We were getting a lot of, like, they were attacking quite a lot down our left side in that first half, creating kind of half chances. But we, we, were, we looked good enough to be where we were. Three minutes to go, three, two up. And you've got to hope that our away form is then turning around, but it doesn't. You know, they, they get a goal. And now's the time to go into ref watch. I've said about the penalty, which is so. But Jeremy Simpson, you know, I don't think you know he's given a, he's given that 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 penalty, which from it's hard to see from the angle that we're at. But he's so close to him again. Another handball. Look desperate to give it. Give us nothing. Give me all nothing. Second half. But their third goal we looks. We're in line with it. He looks. He looks like he's offside. You know, it's the 91st minute, and they're putting a bit of pressure on us, but not too much. The flag's got to go up there. You know, it, it, it's so, I, I think, we, look, we made a mistake. In my opinion, we made a mistake. I know Ferguson might have been off his thing, but he was defending like a flipping lion, absolute lion in that second half. And then he come off, Gregory come off, and that's our offensive pressure gone. And we've sat deeper. And does that, that, does that mean that obviously we're in a position to concede the goal? Yes, but, and it is a big, but, and I cannot lie, it's a big but, he's offside. The flag has to go up there. If they don't score that, I don't think they score in the second, I don't think they score in injury time and we see out the game. But as soon as they scored that third goal, you just bloody knew the fourth goal was going in. And, and there's no way we did not deserve to come out of that game. I felt like we were good enough to have won it, maybe nick it, but we were certainly good enough for a draw and to just have it robbed from us like that, you know, the fourth goal was just bobbled, you know, cleared and hit the player and went in and you just think, Flip, what do we need to do to pick up all three points away from home? A couple of things I do want to say before I finish. Like I said, my, my man of the match was Lee Gregory. I thought Lee Gregory was absolutely fantastic. Um, but I want to ask people, I, I do this mill drive home for, for you to watch it and I appreciate you doing it. And it, it, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate the people all over the world Telling me that like, there's people in Australia and uh, a nice fella from Dublin saying that they watch the channel. Now, I'm a Mill fan that goes to games, but I'd like to be able, if I was around the world, I'd want, you know, you never lose Mill, it's always there. So tell me your comments, tell me what you want from this channel, whether you want me to, I don't know, do player ratings or, or, or the score line, or you want me to do something else, tell me, because I'm willing to do it. I like doing this. I like talking about it. It's, it's therapeutic for me and I'd be doing it even if nobody watched it. It makes no difference to me um, because, you know, it's quite, it's a bit of an outlet. I, I shouted Millwall outside the, the Orange Ground and went, um, and I was surrounded by loads of them and I'm surprised no one said nothing to me. But Millwall's in my heart. Millwall's in my heart. It's in my son's heart. He was absolutely deject, dejected. It was in, it's in my daughter's heart. It's in my wife's heart. You know, it's in our family. It's my dad's. Today's painful and, you know, we've got, you know, Harris has got to be proud. We got Bolton after the international break and what an absolutely massive game that has come in. I would say our home form is not the problem. We need to pick up all three points away from home and we deserve to today. In my opinion, we deserve to. Whether we deserve to nick it, whether we deserve to, were we outplay, did we outplay them? Probably not. Um, I do also want to say thank you to... Uh, Sam, Sammy Kent, who done my tattoo. On, I've got a line now on my chest. Thanks to Sammy Kent. Uh, point to point tattoos, reasonable price. She give me as well. You know, she's an absolute genius with with the, the tattoo needles. And if you want a meal tattoo or any tattoo, I would definitely go to Point to Point Studios in Erif. I drove from Essex for it, and um, I, I just want to say thanks for to Sammy for for, for tattooing me. Um, but thanks everyone for watching because you know. The Mill community help us get through things like that. I can't believe I'm driving home without without even a point. <laughs> not, not uh, you know, the emotion's probably on my face. I don't even know how I'm driving today. It's pissing down. I'm going back to Essex, at least I don't have to go all the way back into London. We'll go again in two weeks at home to Bolton. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments. Come on, you lions.